Hey everyone, David with Hall Alarms here. Today I'm going to show you how to use a DSC Neo keypad that is assigned to multiple partitions or what's called a global keypad. Uh, this system here we have two different partitions. Uh, when the system is happy and normal you're just going to see your date and time like always. And then from here uh, what we're going to do is before we can even check status on e any partition or log into any partition first we need to put in our code to tell the system who we are so for testing purposes we are one two three four and now what it's going to do is it's going to tell us all of our active partitions so partition one partition two uh depending on um depending on your panel you could have up to eight 16 partitions, uh, depending on your system, every system is going to be different. Uh, you're going to see the partition number and then it's going to time out after a little bit. Um, so what we need to do is punch in our code again. Okay, we tell it who we are. There are certain codes that could be assigned to certain partitions. So if I'm a, a housekeeper that only has part, uh, access to the house and not the garage, maybe I only have access to partition one, I would only be able to see one. So our letters below represent our uh, the status of each partition. So R for ready, N for not ready, A for alarm. Um, so I can see now if I open up a door here, I can see that my partition one goes from R to N for not ready. And then when I close the door again, it goes back to ready. And then it times out. So one, two, three, four to get back in. From there, I can use my arrows to scroll through different options. So I can do a couple different things here. I can arm all my partitions at once. I can choose to just arm one partition, the other partition, or I can select the specific partitions to get information from there. View open zones, bypass certain zones. So if I wanted to log into, uh, let's say, the workshop. Let's log into the workshop here. We know that the system is ready to arm. If it was not ready, then I could log into it and then see exactly why is it not ready. Is there a door I need to go close? A window? Is there something wrong with a motion detector? That's how you're going to get your information from there. So a global keypad will enunciate alarms, troubles from any partition. Uh, so after a few seconds of no activity, not touching any buttons on the keypad, it's going to kick you back out. Um, so if I wanted to, uh, so I can see now because I was able to press star and get into the menu, I know I'm still logged into that workshop partition. Uh, from here, I could also do access codes, user functions. So anytime you want to change a user code, um, if you're not using the alarm.com platform, if you are using the alarm.com platform, highly recommend doing all of your user functions through, uh, through the app or through the website. Uh, and then you can see we have the same options as if it was a single partition keypad. Um, and we know the system's ready to arm. Um, so I can arm it from here. I can give it a few seconds, let it back out and go through, and I can arm all, arm a single partition, whatever I need to do. Um, so that's, yeah, so we're still logged into that other partition. So that's pretty much it for... Um, a partition, a keypad that is on all partitions, or a global keypad as we call it. All of your functions are still the same. The major difference is you need to punch in your code first to tell the system who you are before you can even see the status of any partition or arm and disarm any partition. And that's it for that. Thanks again.